<laughs> Sam, if it rains soon, will you promise to stop humming to your plants? Sure, Paige, but why? Paige? Yow! What's going on? Reader! Reader! Where are you? Come quick! It's raining boots and umbrellas! Wow! Careful! It's very dangerous out here! What are we going to do? Sam, calm down! You're imagining things! Umbrellas don't just fall from the sky! Okay, let's get the ship and go. What is your name? Find it on the list or type it in. Z. I. G. Z. A. G. Glad you're here. We sure could use some help during our adventure. Yeehaw! So where are we going, reader? To the clouds, Paige. There must be some explanation. Rain only occurs when... Stop the ship! Okay, looks like we're here. I'll follow along to provide some extra help. And Chester, will you carry the things we pick up along the way? Wow, that's fluffy. Here it goes. One small step for Rabbit. Yahoo! Isn't this amazing? We're on top of the clouds! I hope we can find out where the umbrellas and things are coming from. Should we follow this path? Welcome to Cloud Nine, a place of peace and harmony. For many seasons, these clouds have been home to Queen Cumulus and many cloud people. Keep your eyes out for cloud sheep, and please do not feed them. Hey, there's a bell! Maybe someone lost it. Let's put it inside Chester. Twist my tail! These clouds have buildings on them! And what's in that big pile over there? I don't know, but look at the rain gear on the ground. We have to find out what's going on. But how do we get inside? The sign says, please ring bell. Bell? I don't see a bell, do you? No, but there must be one somewhere. There it is! Let's take that bell out of Chester. Roaring raspberries! It worked! Let's get hopping! We should leave that bell here in case anyone else needs to ring it. Hey, this must be downtown Cloud Nine. Hello there, visitors. I'm Queen Cumulus. Welcome to Cloud Nine. Thank you. I'm Rita Rabbit. And I'm Sam the Lion. We're from Wordville, where it's been raining umbrellas and boots. We came up here in our dream ship to see what was going on. Oh, what a mess we're in. We've been trying to keep all this rain gear from falling off the cloud. But there's just too much. I remember when everyone smiled. Our streets were clean. We lived in style. And the sky was the only blue. The sun shone through for us. Then one day something fell from the sky. Come 
those boots and umbrellas be coming from? Somehow, all this stuff is being thrown up here from the island below. If that pile falls, it'll be a real disaster for Cloud Nine. Someone needs to go down and put a stop to it. We'd be happy to go for you. If you go back to your ship, you'll see the island. Okay, let's head back to the dream ship, reader. Here we are again. Roaring raspberries, there's the island. Look at that, reader. Someone from that funny looking building is throwing umbrellas up to cloud nine. And those trees have umbrellas and things growing on them. Hi, I'm Irvin, Irvin the Inventor. I'm Reader, uh, the rabbit. And I'm Sam, the lion. Welcome. You must be here to see my wonderiferous new invention. <laughs> well, yes, but... You see, these are the controls for my giant throwing machine in the next room. I load up the machine with umbrellas and other rain gear. And then it throws the rain gear up at the clouds? Exactly! But why would you want to throw rain gear at the clouds? To stop the rain, of course. Oh, I can't stand the rain. Well, it's a very nice machine, but there's a problem. All those umbrellas and boots are landing up on Cloud Nine, making a big, messy pile. If that pile topples over, Cloud Nine and Wordville will be ruined. Oh, no. I must turn it off right away. Except, uh-oh, I'll never be able to turn it off. You won't? No, unless... Unless... Unless what? Unless I have three very special items. First, I'll need a big round purple hoop. Second, I'll need some extra stretchy jumbo rubber bands. And third, I'll need an extra soft, double-stuffed feather pillow. Okay, we'll bring those items back to you soon. Oh, wow! That's the biggest gumball machine I've ever seen. And look at that beautiful shiny whistle. Hello, I'm Geraldine, the smartest talking gumball machine on Reindeer Island. I'm Reader, and this is Sam. I'm designed so that I can only give out a prize if you help me complete a sentence first. If you can make a token fall into the slot with the correct word on it, then you win a prize and I learn a new science fact. I get it. We need to move those ramps to make the token roll into the right slot. That's right. An owl is a bird. Wow, I never knew that. Yummerific! A guppy is a fish. You mammals are really smart. A cheetah is a cat. Of course, let me add that to my records. Oh, 
All right, there's the whistle. Wow, that's loud. Let's keep it in Chester. Bye, Geraldine. Hi, Irvin. We haven't found any of those items yet. Keep looking, keep looking. Oh, they must be around somewhere. Let's try to get some marble, Sam. Thanks for visiting. Bouncing bunnies! There's the throwing machine. Let's climb up there and see it. I don't know, Sam. Irvin's pet, Fluffy, looks a little scary to me. Nothing scares a lion. Well, okay, he is a little scary. I don't think he's hungry enough to eat that. That wouldn't be very good to feed Irvin's pet. We'll have to find something else for him to eat. Hello, are you Marvin the Musical Pattern Walk? Yes, yes, how did you guess? You wouldn't happen to know where we could find an extra soft double stuffed feather pillow. What luck, you've scored. There's one behind this door. My job is simple, I keep this door shut. But if you complete my patterns, I'll open it up. How do we do that? First, you need some singing marbles. Do we have any singing marbles? Roaring raspberries, we don't have any. We better go find some. It's been marvelous playing with you. Come back soon. I wish we could get up those steps and check out. Say, did you meet Fluffy in there? Yes, he seems very nice. Well, it's getting close to his lunchtime. Let's try to get some marble, Sam. Ah, you're back for more. Whoops! <laughs> uh, we'd better try that again. Many bats live in caves. Ah, yes, that makes sense. Yummerific! A caterpillar becomes a butterfly. Of course, let me add that to my records. Roaring good candy! is called a calf. Wonderful. I'm learning so much. Let's keep it in Chester. Dolphin has flippers to help it swim. You mammals are really smart. A 
box turtle is a reptile. Wow, I never knew that. Delicious! is an amphibian. I've never met such brilliant mammals. Yowza! It's another singing marble. Trout is a fish. You mammals are really smart. Wow! Now my stomach really hurts. A young lion is called a cub. I've never met such brilliant mammals. Sam, your stomach's really gonna hurt now. A young kangaroo is called a joey. Ah yes, that makes sense. Hi, Irvin. We're still working on our search. Fluffy is still blocking those steps. Are you ready to make some marvelous patterns? Are we ever? We need that extra soft double stuffed feather pillow behind that door. Put your singing marbles here next to me. Yes, we do. Let's put them here by Marvin. Excellent. I will now explain what you need to do. I started the pattern, and now you have to finish it by putting your singing marbles in the right places. Do we have enough singing marbles to finish that pattern? If we don't have enough, we can always get more. Let's take a look at our map. This is a map. You can use it to travel to locations you've been to before. I can't believe rain gear is growing on all these trees. This really is a rain gear forest. Smashing! The reinforcements have arrived. The what? I hope you know your math. I need someone to help load these sprouts onto that tree. Can we help you? Put two baskets of umbrella sprouts onto each branch. The total for each branch must equal the number on the tree. Nice work. Here's a nut for you. Six plus three equals nine. Two plus seven equals nine. Next! 
Enjoy that nut. Delicious. Nice work. Here's a nut for you. One plus three equals four. Two plus two equals four. Next! Okay, here's another. Why are you replanting rain gear trees? Nuts are good for you, and they taste great. Nice work. Here's a singing marble for you. Six. Hey, this tree is carrying too many sprouts on its branches. Can you pick which ones need to be removed? hoo A singing marble! Nice work. Here's a nut for you. Ten. Precisely. Here's a nut for you. Nuts are good for you. Nice work. Here's a singing marble for you. Eight minus three equals five. Seven minus two equals five. Hoo a singing marble! Dismissed! Please come again. Thanks for your help with math. Either I'm seeing things or that rock has a face on it. Hello up there! I don't think he can hear us. Hello! Can you hear us? He can't hear us over his music. Hey, Sam! Have you ever seen such huge flower pots? Hi! Who are you? Hi! I'm Rita Rabbit, and this is Sam. I'm Mr. Bloom, and I'm so busy! The inventor needs all these items to be changed right away. Why? I'm supposed to change them into different items that he can use again to make other inventions. Changing an item into something different? You can see for yourself. Here's an example. This item is a bag. Just plant that bag in one of these three special flower pots, like this one next to me. Bag. Bat. You see? Now it's grown into something different. The flower pot changed part of the way that bag is spelled, making it into something different. Oh! That flower pot changes the ending sound of the word. I see! It changed the G in bag to T, and now it's bat. Now, if you plant it in the same flower pot again, it will change back to the same item. Try it! That flower pot changes the ending sound. Bag. Good! Each of these flower pots will change the item in a different way. You can experiment and try each flower pot to see how it will change this item. Er Rag. Rug. Rag. Bug. Rug. Rag. Rat. Rag. Uh, can we have this wagon? Wagon? Oh, yes. I suppose you can take it if you help me to unload it first. 
You can change an item as many times as you want. If only I were more old cat. Cot. Pill. Pin. Bell. Well. Yes, yes, yes. That's it. Daffo delightful. We finished that wagon load. Now, if you help me unload another wagon, I'll give you a singing marble. Now, Irvin needs a rat. Bat. Rat. Bag. Rat. Bag. Rag. Rat. Well done. What would I do without your dish? Din. Dan. Fan. Cob. Cop. Cap. Map. Oh, splendid! Daffo delightful. We finished that wagon load. Here's a singing marble for your help. Okay, I think. Clam. Clom. Plant an item in the flower pot. Clock. Bin. Big. Pig. Ham. Hat. Hut. So much to do. Dock. Dog. Dug. Pug. Puck. Well done, bud. That one's done, and not a moment too soon. Here's a singing marble for your help. Bye-bye! I don't think we can use that here. Let's not use that yet. We might need it later. Hello, gentlemen. Welcome to my sandwich shop. You're my first customers all year. What kinds of sandwiches do you sell? You tomato. We'd like to put that topping on our sandwich. Do you like that one? That will cost four cents. Put the right amount here on my counter. Ring the bell when you think the amount is correct. Okay, let's ring the bell and... Hmm, thank you very much. My great uncle used to say the best thing about a good sandwich is... Uh, 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 what did he say? Now you get to use this topping to decorate your sandwich. Take the topping from here and put it on your sandwich there. Bone. Good choice. That will cost 37 cents. Exactly correct. Did I ever tell you that I've been selling sandwiches for the last 40 years? 
A good sandwich needs at least three types of toppings before it's ready. Broccoli. Changed your mind? Fried worms. <laughs> that will cost 13 cents. much. When your sandwich is finished, close it by putting the top down on it. Stand back. You're done. I bet Fluffy would really like this one. And our special today is one free singing marble with each sandwich. Here you go. Gingerbread. <laughs> that will cost 66 cents. Put the right amount here on my counter. Ring the bell when you think the amount is correct. Exactly correct. Did I ever tell you that I've been selling sandwiches for the last 40 years? Ice cream. Good choice. That will cost 13 cents. <laughs> good. A good sandwich needs at least three types of toppings before it's ready. Are we finished making this silly sandwich? Not yet. This sandwich needs three types of topping. Lettuce. Oh, yes. That will cost 66 cents. Hmm. Thank you very much. Of course, it only cost two cents when I was your... Stand back. You're done. I bet Fluffy would really like this one. And our special today is one free singing marble with each sandwich. Here you go. Peter. Hello, Sam. I think we need some more marbles. Do we have any singing marbles? Yes, we do. Let's put them here by Marvin. <laughs> Sam. Put your, put your singing marbles in the right places to finish the pattern. Sam. <laughs> Of rain gear. Boy, am I glad you're here. My name's Wally Nimbus, and I need to finish this wall before this rain gear pile falls on us. Can you help? 
Well, um, <laughs> um, you're hired. All you need to do is send three more bricks up to me. Rug. Rug. G. Rug. Bug. G. Bug. Cap. Cap. We're on a roll. Basket. A. Basket. Bench. Bench. Jacket. Jacket. That was brick terrific. Nice job. Crack. Ah. Eh. Crack. Chest. Eh. Chest. Stream. St. R. E. Hmm. Stream. You really know how to work that machine. All right. That'll do it. Thanks for your help. Let's get some extra bricks up there for later. If you send another brick to the top, I'll give you a singing marble. Milk. It. Hmm. It. L. K. Milk. Branch. Br. A. N. Ch. Branch. Branch. Desk. D. A. E. Sk. Desk. That was brick terrific. Nice job. Thanks again. Here's a singing marble for you. I'm sure we can use this somewhere. B. D. Beach. Beach. Thumb. Thumb. Rocket. R. K. A. K. E. T. 
rocket. That was brick-erific! Nice job! Good job! You've earned yourself a singing marble! Are you ready to make some marvelous patterns? Are we ever! We need that extra soft double stuffed feather pillow behind that door. I think we need some more marbles. Do we have any singing mar- Yes, we do! Let's put them here by Marvin. Put your singing marbles in the right places to finish the pattern. Sam, do we have enough singing marbles to finish that pattern? If we don't have enough, we can always get put your singing put your singing marbles in the right places to finish the pattern. Sam, do we have enough singing marbles to finish that pattern? If we don't have enough, we can always get more. Not yet, my furry friend. Finish the pattern all the way to the end. Make sure all the colored lights are lit. Attention! Maybe we can earn a singing marble. And some nuts! Hey, this tree is carrying too many sprouts on its branches. Can you pick which ones need to be removed? Nice work! Here's a nut for you! Enjoy that nut! I have some singing marbles too. Nice work! Here's a nut for you! 20 minus 3 equals 17. 19 minus 2 equals 17. Mmm, I like nuts! Just what I thought! Here's a singing marble for you! 17 minus 1 equals 16. 20 minus 4 equals 16. Hoo A singing marble! Here's a nut for you. Mmm, I like nuts. Just what I thought. Here's a singing marble for you. 17. Hoo a singing marble. Welcome back!
tomato. We changed your mind. Hat. Mmm. That will cost one dollar and nine cents. Put the very much. Did I ever tell you that I've been selling sandwiches? Tomato. Mmm. That will cost one dollar and eleven cents. <laughs> Good. I always insist on exact change. A good sandwich needs at least three types of toppings before it's ready. Banana. Mmm. That will cost one dollar and five cents. <laughs> Good! I always insist on exact change. When you're... Stand back, you're done. I bet Fluffy would really like this one. And our special today is one free singing marble with each sandwich. Here you go. Banana. Changed your mind. Brick. Good choice. That will cost one dollar and eleven cents. Put the right amount here on my counter. Ring the bell when you think the amount is correct. <laughs> Good! Broccoli. Mmm. One dollar and twenty-four cents. Bug. Oh, yes. That will cost one dollar and fifteen cents. Exactly correct. You are sandwich making experts. When your sandwich is finished, close it by putting the top down on it. Stand back, you're done. I wonder if Urban's pet would like to eat this sandwich. And our special today is one free singing marble with each sandwich. Here you go. Are you ready to make some marvelous patterns? Are we ever! We need that extra soft double stuffed feather pillow behind that door. Yes, we do! Let's put them here by Marvin.
put your singing marbles in the right places to finish the pattern. Complete the pattern all the way to the end. Make sure all the colored lights are lit. I never get tired of these marvelous musical patterns. Looks like we're done. Let's press that play button. Put your singing marble. <laughs> Reader, the door opened. But it didn't open all the way. That's right. It's not easy to get past that door. But if you complete another pattern, I'll open it some more. Let's try to get some marble, Sam. Ah, you're back for more. A porcupine has quills for protection. Wow, I never knew that. Yummerific! An ant has six legs. Wonderful, I'm learning so much. Butterfly has two wings. Uh, I guess that wasn't it. A uh, dragonfly has two wings. Uh, I get the feeling that... A chick has two wings. Ah, uh, yes. That makes sense. Let's keep it in Chester. A cat is a mammal. Of course. Let me add that to my records. Bear is a mammal. I've never met such brilliant mammals. Delicious! A crocodile is a reptile. You mammals are really smart. Hi, Mr.
Mr. Bloom. Hi again. Now Irvin needs a web. Bell. Well. Web. Oh, splendid. Here's another one. Now Irvin needs a rag. Bun. Run. Rug. Rag. Yes, yes, yes. That's it. If only I were more organized, I'd be mop. Trop. Trap. Pan. Pin. Win. Wig. Pig. Oh, splendid! That one's done, and not a moment too soon. Here's a singing marble for your help. What would I do without your help? Can we have this wagon? Sure thing, bud. Ram. Sam. Sob. Sock. Okay, I think we bun. Cut. Cat. 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 Sack. Sick. Sig. Tig. Tick. Tack. Sack. Sick. Tag. Tick. Tack. Plant an item in the flat. So much to do. Map. Cup. Cub. Cup. Cap. Map. Oh, splendid! That one's done, and not a moment too soon. Here's a singing marble for your help. Are you ready to make some marvelous patterns? Yes, we do! Let's put them here by Marvin. so nice. They make me shiver just like ice. We still can't get through that door. All right, Marvin. Rack up another pattern. singing marbles in the right places to finish the pattern. Sam, do we have enough singing marbles to finish that pattern? If we don't have enough, we can always get more. Great to have you back. Can you help me move some extra bricks to the top of the wall? Brick. 
Cobra. Hit. Brick. Brick. Twist. St. T. Wa. Hit. Twist. Twist. Ship. Ch. Hit. P. Ship. Ship. You really know how to work that machine. Thanks again. Here's a singing marble for you. Shop. Ah. Shop. Let sl hit sled eh d sled sled stamp st ah hmm. Stamp. Great! Keep up the good work. Good job! You've earned yourself a singing marble. Hand. Welcome back to the pattern game. Yes, we do. Let's put them here by Marvin. Musical patterns sound so nice. They make me shiver just like ice. Wait a minute. You didn't tell us there's another door. Oh, silly me. I forgot to say, that's not the only door in your way. You've opened one door. Now can you open two more? Marvelous. Simply marvelous. Almost. Just a little more. What a beautiful musical pattern. Almost. Just a little more. Are we done? 
Not yet, my furry friend. Finish the pattern all the way to the end. Marvelous. Simply marvelous. Almost. Just a little more. This pattern doesn't look complete to me. Put your singing marbles in the right places to finish the pattern. I simply love to listen to musical patterns. <laughs> friend finish the pattern all the way to the end marvelous simply marvelous bing ha ah, one pattern closer to winning that pillow I hope our homes aren't covered in rain gear. Look on the bright side. We'll have enough umbrellas to last us for years. Patterns and music, all through the day. There's nothing better, some people say. <laughs> you did it, you've done it. The pillow, you've won it. Jewel. It's really big, too. I wonder if Irvin would mind if we took it. Boy, that jewel is really sp I've never seen anything sp Let I guess we'd better leave that here, since it's Irvin's. Yeah, we don't really need it anyway. Bye! We'll visit again sometime. <laughs>